Hey, Video Game Hour Live. Steven's Reader here. I'm here with Jeremy, the commanding officer of the 501st Legion, the garrison in Austin, Texas, I believe, yes? Star Garrison for Texas, Oklahoma, and Arkansas. So I know that 501st is a Star Wars fan organization, but could you go into a little bit more detail about what the organization does? We're a volunteer organization that works with children's charities and children's hospitals. We do publicity with Lucasfilm as well. I, I know every time I see you guys around, well, anytime I see, you know, at conventions, I kind of figure it's the 501st making appearances. I've seen you guys at a lot of uh, very charitable events. It's an amazing organization. What are some of the, I guess, coolest stories you have of, you know, showing up to uh, charitable events and kids seeing Darth Vader or a stormtrooper or an Imperial officer, at, you know, at their event? One of my favorite stories is actually with American Cancer Society. We, we do a boo bash down in San Antonio, and there was this little girl who absolutely had to dance with every single Imperial that showed up. And my favorite was that at, after she danced with everyone that showed up, she saved the last dance for Darth Vader and just continued to dance with every one of us. And it was, it was absolutely heartwarming. So, and, and she showed up for the next three years and danced with every single one of us every year. That's amazing. There's, I've heard a lot of great stories about the 501st. And one of the things you guys are famous for are the quality of your costumes, as you guys can see here. Is there kind of a requirement for how professional your costume should look? Absolutely. We are known for having movie accurate. It, you look like you've just stepped off the silver screen. So it is difficult to get into the 501st. But at the same time, it, after you've spent the time and effort to, you've invested a lot of time into looking movie accurate, you know that you look like you've stepped off the movie screen. So there's a lot of pride in, in the fact that you look movie accurate. And the fans can definitely tell. Uh, I, one of the cool things about the 501st is that Lucasfilm has, you know, really acknowledged them. I know that the 501st was a major part of the game Battlefront 2, and they were a part of the Rose Parade in, I believe, 2007. Uh, what is that kind of like, just to know that the guys behind the movies that we're all fans of are fans of you guys? It's really heartwarming, actually. It, there was a, a long time where we were unsure of, of our relationship with Lucasfilm, and and then it, it became stronger and stronger as they saw that, that we were willing to work with them and that we wanted to work with them and, and that it was a, a fandom that, that was willing and, and hopeful to, to be a part of, of this relationship. And, and they were hopeful that we would be willing to work with them. And so uh, it was a lot of give and take. And I, I think a, a lot of that stemmed from working with them in celebration as well. The various celebrations really went a long ways to seeing how that relationship continued to grow. And so um, I was able to be there and see that grow. And, and together, both of us saw this striving towards uh, excellence, both in, in our charitable work and our professional work, and being able to see the, the publicity that went towards both the, the Rose Bowl Parade and then. Uh, being part of being canonized into uh, the story and raiding the Jedi Temple. I mean, it, it was it was mind numbing. Is the only thing I could think of when when I found out myself because uh, I, I was there when we all found out. I was part of the, the Legion Council, is what we call it. Um, when it was announced and I was just blown away because I remember the days when we were afraid of being found out. So it was it was absolutely astounding. Very cool. And for our viewers, do you guys have a website that our audience can go to to find out more about the 501st? Absolutely. It's www.501st.com, 501st.com. And then our local uh, website is stargarrison.com. So you can reach either us locally at stargarrison.com or internationally at 501st.com. Right, okay, great. Jeremy, thanks for all you do. I look forward to seeing the 501st inspiring fear and awe at many more events to come.